is we took a picture um, and we've saved it so now we're ready to print it. Um, before we send it to our printer and just so you'll know our classroom printer name is RHS-L203 so that's the one that you want to make sure you look out for. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, paper sizes. So in our classroom L203 we only have a printer that can print one um, size, eight and a half by eleven, that's like your standard handout, like if you get a handout from your teacher or worksheet, that's what that size is. Um, when you're lucky enough to buy a house, you'll be using, you'll see legal pay, paper, which is the same width, but it's uh, the height of it is longer. Um, usually you use these for brochures too. And then we also have poster size paper, which is called tabloid, and that's eleven by seventeen. So if you're also in our I-214 room for graphics or video or anything that, that um, printer can print all three of these sizes. We also have an Epson SureColor 5000 photo printer um, and that is especially for photo printing and we can print up to 13 by 19. So sometimes we actually require you to make your document sizes different depending on what we're actually making in class. So that's why you might say okay this this requirement for this project is this size. So even though down here we can only print 8.5 by 11 letter um, we can actually print up to 13 by 19 for special projects. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, photo in our uh, your first last name photo folder and you're going to go to your computer technology folder and you're going to look for that SD card folder and inside this is the photo that you took that you moved over here um, from your SD card. Okay, so I want to open this with Photoshop and then I want to print from there. So I'm going to right click and say open with and then I'm going to say that I want to open with Adobe Photoshop and it will launch Photoshop and it will also open this document. Okay now I can go to file print or command P file print and Note that it's cropped off, okay? So if it doesn't look right here, then don't send it to the printer. So up here, the printer should say RHS-L203, okay? One of the things I need to do is change it to landscape so that it actually fits the paper correctly. So I'm gonna pick landscape and now it fits here. So that's gonna be depending on did you take the uh, picture vertically or horizontally or we call portrait or landscape. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to look for uh, the menu that says scale print size and I want to check off scale to fit media. That means that it will scale the picture to fit on the media that it's going to, that's loaded into the printer. So I'm going to check that off and notice that now it shrinks that image down. I'm now ready to hit the print button and then it's going to say color management, say OK. It's going to say, are you sure you want to print? And you're going to say print and then it's going to say are you sure with these color management and say okay and then it's going to print at this time you're going to get it um, out of the printer you're going to put your name and period on the back of that printed sheet and then you're going to if you're in Miss Varela's classroom you're going to put it in her um, period of five or period seven uh, drawer turn in drawer or you're going to hand it to Mr. Corcoran Miss Miss Corcoran or Mr. Bustamante um, and, and whatever way that they have you guys turn in papers.